This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Since Loretta was neither a murder suspect nor a drug addict, it was not that difficult for Zanuck to prevent her from becoming a Hollywood outcast. Loretta had committed a sin only in the eyes of the church, and if moviegoers in Wilkes-Barre or Oshkosh heard rumors about their idol, they would have dismissed them as Hollywood gossip. Although Zanuck and Loretta had no love for each other, he was astute enough to realize he could not incur the wrath of the National Legion of Decency by having a star on his roster who had violated the morals clause in her contract. Others had done the same, but they were not in Loretta's virginal league. Image is all, and hers had to be maintained. The birth was the easiest part. On 6 November 1935, Loretta gave birth to a baby girl, whom she called Judith. Exactly why Loretta chose that name is unknown. Perhaps she was thinking of the biblical Judith, whom the church regarded as a prefiguration of the Virgin Mary. As an observant Catholic, Loretta would have attended Mass on 15 August, the Feast of the Assumption and a Holy Day of Obligation, where the epistle in the liturgy was from the Book of Judith. Loretta's Judith would need a different kind of courage to slough off the taunts of Hollywood brats who learn the details of her birth from their parents or know-it-all friends. Children can be unconscionably cruel when they discover another secret. Judith inherited Gable's floppy ears. Judy's got elephant ears, the children chanted as they giggled, making her even more determined to learn the truth about her parents. William Wellman's response did not help the situation. All I know is Loretta disappeared when the Call of the Wild was finished and showed up with a daughter with big ears. Dr. Holloran was not the only Catholic conspirator. Judy's baptismal certificate was a fabrication. She was identified as Mary Judith Clark, an interesting juxtaposition of the Virgin and her prototype, whose parents were William and Margaret Clark. The surname Clark was her birth father's first name. William was the first name of Gable's father. Her godparents were Mr. and Mrs. R.C. Treger. R.C. was a common abbreviation for Roman Catholic. Was that the case?